Hello and welcome to the first installment of how to log into and begin using Moodle at the University of Providence. Now either using a link that you may have been mailed or emailed um, or coming to the University of Providence homepage and then clicking current students and coming down to Moodle. Um, you will access the login screen on our uh, Moodle server. Initially, you may not have a, a secure password created for you, and so the easiest way to create that password is to click on the link right below the login, um, username and password and login button. There is a link that says forgotten your username or password. Go ahead and click on that. That will ask you to search either by your username or by your email address. We recommend for University of Providence students to use your username. So I'm going to go ahead and reset based on my username, which starts with an A number and 000, and then my own unique numbers. That will generate a password reset message to me and in order to access that I'll need to come to my University of Providence email address or the email address provided by the system. And I'll make sure that when I log in I'm going to access Outlook. And when I do that I will have an email reset message that will be addressed to me and in it it will have a link that says that I will have 30 minutes to click on that link to reset the password. And I will reset the password using the same 12 letter um, convention that I would need accessing my University of Providence email account. So I can I can use the same password or I can create a new password if I want it to be different, but it will need to be a total of 12 characters, at least one digit, one lowercase letter, one uppercase letter, and one non-alphabetic character, such as an asterisk, uh, a dash, uh, a hash mark, or perhaps an exclamation mark. So I'm going to go ahead and create my new password. and I need to confirm it one more time. And save the changes. Okay, we are logged in as Mickey Mouse. However, um, currently, if I click on my courses up here, we see that we don't have a profile picture and I know personally our instructors want us to have a picture uploaded, a picture that's appropriate so that it shows up in all of our forum interactions um, and it'll show up on the roster and it makes um, taking an online course feel more like you're having a face-to-face -face converse conversation. So the first thing that we're going to do is update our profile. So I'm going to click on Edit Profile. And what I want to do, I can't change the name or the last name because that actually is uh, fed by the data administrative database. It's controlled by Banner slash Argo Express. So if I need to change my name, I need to do it legally using a change of name form through the registrar's office. I can't do it here. Okay, I'm going to now update the city and the town. Um, because I am an online student, Mickey Mouse, yeah, I'm not in Great Falls like um, the majority of other accounts may be. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to change it to Anaheim because that's where I live, at. that's where Disneyland is. Um, I'm also going to take the time to change the time zone. This is very important because any deadlines, like when a quiz opens or closes, those display according to 
the uh, the time zone for the user. So by default, all new accounts are fed at being America Denver. That's Mountain Time Zone. That's the Great Falls Campus in Montana. I need to change that, and I need to scroll on up because Moodle is used all over the world. We have locations all over the world that we have to find the nearest big city to our time zone. So I'm going to pick Los Angeles because Los Angeles is the major city on the West Coast. That'll get me to Pacific time zone. So that is important because if a quiz closes at midnight in Montana, I can't assume that's midnight for me in California. That'll actually be 11 p.m. So I want those deadlines to display correctly so I make sure I customize my time zone. Then I also see that I have an opportunity to upload a picture. Now if I want any tips in Moodle, I find the little question mark and I click on it and it tells me that to upload a picture to my profile, it likes JPEGs or PNGs, pings. Then um, it also prefers if it's cropped um, 100 by 100 pixels. It'll accept larger pictures but it'll do a best guess and it might end up displaying part of your forehead. Now one of the things that I would ask is when you upload a picture, please make it a reasonable representation of how you would look in a classroom. So because that's what you're doing, you're participating in a learning experience in a virtual classroom. So we want this to be a professional picture. We don't want a picture of you at the um, beach wearing a bikini. We do not want a picture of your favorite movie star. We don't want a picture of your favorite pet. We want a picture of you that represents you. So I'm going to click Add. I'm going to Browse. I'm going to come and find, um, I think it is in Documents and in School where I uploaded my profile picture. So I've pre-cropped it. I used a photo editing um, software and I'm going to upload that picture. This indicates that it's spinning, it's sending the bits through the internet to the Moodle server in a secured hosting facility in Virginia. And as soon as it's made it all the way through the internet and it has been scanned for viruses, then we can click Update Profile. And there is my photo. I have updated where I live. I have updated my time zone. I'm ready to get started in my classes, which is the next episode.